Rose Bowl game. This year, we pit the Trojans of the University of Southern California against the Blue Devils of Duke University. And what a ball game this is going to be. As usual, on these ball games as we have for the past three years, we have as our assistants on my left, Hank, sometimes called Big Blonde Weaver, who will do the spotting and also keep a little track of the statistical data for you. And during halftime, you'll hear more of him. To my right, another football authority noted throughout uh, the West for his predictions as well as for his spotting, Bud Ernst. And so with their help, we're going to do the very best we possibly can to give you a clear, concise word picture of one of the most traditional, one of the most colorful ball games that are ever presented in the United States. Four times, the Trojans from USC have played in the Rose Bowl Classic, and from the four Trojan victories, many of you fans will recall the stars of the past, some of them Roy Bullet Baker, Leo Callen, Gordon Campbell, Harold Galloway, Francis Tappan, Johnny Baker, Russ Saunders, Gus Shaver, Ernie Pinkert, Marshall Duffield, all the way on down the line through that host of star players that the Trojans have turned out. Today, a new list of names fills the Southern California roster, and from this lineup will come fresh nominations for the Trojan Rose Bowl Hall of Fame. We don't know whether the new heroes will be from among Granny Lansdell, Mickey Anderson, Bill Sangster, the Pasadena Trojans, who a small sandlot playing youngsters a few years ago looked in awe upon the past Rose Bowl affairs and attended every one of them with wide-eyed enthusiasm or not. Perhaps the new heroes will be from among the blockers, such as Bob Hoffman, Boyd Morgan, Harry Smith, or the harder-working but lesser-known laboring gentlemen, Don McNeil, Tony Tanelli, Bob Fisher, at all. Perhaps it'll be from one of the Trojans' very flashy array of ends. Bill Fisk, Ralph Stanley, Al Kruger, Bob Winslow, or John Stormbreaker. Here are the Trojans of Southern California coming out on the field now, all resplendent in their new uniforms. The starting lineup is out on the field with their sweatshirts off, the rest of the team filing on over to the bench, and they come out very snappy and full of fight. They have on bright golden silk trousers, white jerseys, red numerals on their backs, and red helmets. None of them are wearing socks, and they're getting set, running through a few limbering up exercises. The starting lineup for USC will be Fisk at left end, Decker at left tackle, Smith at left guard, McNeil at center, at right guard will be Tonelli, at right tackle will be George, at right end, Stanley. At left half will be Morgan. Quarterback will be Granny Lansdell. Fullback, Sangster. And right half back, Hoffman. Once again, we'll run over the starting Trojan lineup so that you'll have it if you need it. Fifth at left end. Ducker at left tackle. Smith at left guard. McNeil at center. Tonelli at right guard. At right tackle will be George. At right end will be Stanley. At left half, Morgan. At quarterback, Lansdell. At fullback, Sangster. At right half, Hoffman. The officials for today's game will present Bob Morris of Kansas as referee, Paul Menton, Loyola of Baltimore as umpire, Ralph Coleman of Oregon State as headlinesman, and Battle Bagley, Washington and Lee as the field guy. In just a few moments, the Duke University players, the Blue Devils from Durham, will make their appearance. In the meantime, we told you this will be the Trojans' fifth time, fifth appearance in the Rose Bowl. But of course, no team coached by Wallace Wade. Here come the Duke Blue Devils out onto the field. They're stranded in their blue uniforms, new trousers, new jerseys, the trousers with white stripes down the side. None of them are wearing socks either. They have white numerals on their back and on their chest. So far, we can't see the starting lineup. They haven't separated from the rest of the group yet as they gather around Coach Wallace Wade. As you remember, this is Wade's fourth trip to the Rose Bowl as a coach. It's the Duke Blue Devils' first trip, but Wade has been here three times before. He, it is his fifth as a player and a coach. His Alabama team has defeated Washington 20-19 in 1926, tied Stanford 7-7 in 1927, defeated Washington 24-0 in 1931. The best Duke teams before this year's winning outfit, unscored upon, unbeaten, and untied, were in 1933 when the team won nine straight games before losing their final game 6-0 to Georgia Tech. In other words, these Duke Blue Devils are out here to really fight the Civil War over again, and the ribbing that has been going on before the game between the two schools, the mere fact that they are one to three underdogs, would seem to key these Blue Devils to their highest height. We're looking forward to a great battle between the two star teams of the nation. The lineup for Duke 
will present Darnell at right end, Haas at right tackle, York at right guard, Hill, who is co-captain at center, Johnson at left guard, Maloney at left tackle, Purdue at left end. Tipton, Eric the Red Tipton at right halfback, Bangler at quarterback, O'Mara at fullback, Eves will be at left half. In just a few moments, we'll have the kickoff. At the present moment, the captains are out on the field, tossing the coin to see which is going to get the choice and which will defend the goal. yard line, a 23-yard run back in there by Spangler. First and ten for the Duke Blue Devils, and the ball game is really underway, and what a ball game this is going to be. Here they come, up into the formation, out of the huddle. It's punt formation. Tipton is back. It looks as though they're going to rely on the toe of Tipton. as the ball, but instead of that, he's starting out around his own right end, and he's being smothered behind the line of scrimmage, and he's taken clear back to the 23-yard line. Morgan, Decker, and Smith broke through there, filled the interference, and it is now second down and 15 yards to go on the Duke Blue Devils 23-yard line. A five-yard loss on that play. The Trojan line, that strong forward wall, breaking through there very fast and smearing that Duke interference. Now Tipton is back in front formation again. He's standing back on his own 12-yard line. It's front formation. Quarterback calling his signals. He has his hands up to his mouth. The Trojan poised, ready to go. Here they are, bent over now. There's the pass from center. There's that Tipton kicking, and it, oh, he gets away. A beautiful kick coming down, being taken back down here by Lanzo. Lanzo took it on his own 35-yard line. He's got three tacklers, and he's finally knocked out of bounds as he gets to the 43-yard line. He's knocked out of bounds in there by Eve Johnson and O'Mara. A very nice run back to that play by Johnny Lanzo. A beautiful catch, but a marvelous kick by Tipton, who is living right up to his reputation as a kicker. First down, 10 yards to go for Southern California. The ball is on their own 43-yard line. And now here come the Trojans up the line. With what a roar they come up. Zanelli is over the, or McNeil is over the ball. Sankster is back. The ball goes to Lanzo. He's fading back to pass. He shoots the short one out in the flat out there. It is complete to Sankster. Sankster's whirling and fighting his way up until he gets up to the 46-yard line where he's knocked out of bounds in there by Tipton and by Hass. Tipton and half knocks Sankster out of bounds. A pass to the flat, a very nicely executed play, bringing the ball up to the 47-yard line where it is now second down, six yards to go. Southern California possession of the ball. Less than a minute of play has elapsed, and the score, of course, is nothing to nothing. Trojans back in the huddle. I wish you could see how they're coming out of this huddle with all the snap and vim and fight. Here they come, floating up the line of scrimmage. Captain McNeil is over the ball. Lansdell is back. There's the shift. The shift over to the right. To the left, brother, pardon me. Ah, here he comes. Lanzo with the ball. He's smearing one tackle up. Take him away. And he gets up over the midfield side. Gets up to the Duke 45-yard line where Spangler finally knocks him out of bounds. He straight-armed Eve off of him in a beautiful play. Coming up, coming wide around his own right end. He knocks Spangler down with a, with a straight arm. But nevertheless, he was held back enough so that he could be knocked out of bounds. Third down now. Pardon me, that made a first down. Uh, Trojans back in the huddle. It's first down. The ball is on the Duke 45 yard line now. Sanks is back. There's a shift again. It goes to Lanzo back. He's fading back to shoot a pass. He's being smeared behind the wall. He gets one away. He's shooting it away down there. And it's intercepted. It's intercepted by Tipton. Tipton intercepted that ball on his own 10 yard line. And just as he intercepted it, the man for whom that pass was intended. For Morgan, Morgan dropped him on the 10-yard line. Oh, that was a very nicely executed pass play there by Lanzo. Granny fading back, dodging three or four tacklers, very coolly eluding them, taking his time getting that pass away. But Morgan was one step behind Tipton, and Tipton caught the ball, started toward his own goal line, and as he turned to start back up the field, reversing his field, Vanelli and uh, Morgan dropped him. There's Tipton back standing right on the goal line now. First and ten for the Duke Blue Devils on their own 10-yard line. There's the pass from center. 
Goes to Tipton, and he's trying to go up through his, off his own left tackle, but he stopped, it, stopped in there hard by Smith. He made uh, two yards on that play, making a second down and eight yards to go. The ball on Duke's 12-yard line. Second down, second down and eight yards to go. The ball on the Duke Blue Devils' 12-yard line. Here they come out of the huddle. They're taking their time, making it very slow. Coming up the line of scrimmage. Tipton is back again. He's standing almost on the goal line. Looks as though he's going to kick. Lansdell is playing safety. Standing back on his own 45-yard line. That's not as good a kick as before. Coming down now, rolling up the field and being closely guarded by two Duke ends. And finally coming to rest right on the 40-yard line on SC's 40-yard line. Ten yards to go for Southern California. The ball on their own 40-yard line after that punt by Tipton. Lanzo takes the ball. He's fading back. Now he's fighting through. He's trying to get over right tackle, and he's away. He's up to the 35-yard line, and he's dropped down there hard. But, oh, oh the play's being called back. It's a penalty. Backfield in motion. Five-yard penalty, and that makes a second down and 15 yards to go with the ball on the Trojan 35-yard line. Back into the huddle they go. Out of the huddle they come, it's punt formation. Lansdell is back. There's the pass from center. He's getting away a nice kick. It's going up. No, it's going out, and it's coming down out of bounds on the Duke 30-yard line. First and 10 for the Duke Blue Devils on their own 30-yard line. Back in the huddle. Duke Blue Devils are just a cluster of blue against the green of the gridiron. Here they come up very slowly, taking their time, coming up the line of scrimmage. They're running a lot of plays from this punt formation. It's tipped him back. Looks so he's going to kick, but he isn't. He takes the ball. He's flying right through the center, and he's swarmed upon by the entire center of the Trojan line. Stecker, Smith, and McNeil rising up there, but not stopping him before. He's picked up three yards. A second down, seven yards to go. The ball on the Duke Blue Devils' 33-yard line. And there's a Trojan hurt on the play. There's going to be a time taken out. We'll have who it is for you in just a minute. We can't see him. He's lying flat on his back. Managed on that play with Stanley, left end, or right end, pardon me, of the Trojans, who injured his left elbow. He's being replaced now in there by Winslow, number 73. The Duke Blue Devils go back into the huddle. Time is up. Here they come up the line of scrimmage. Front formation. Tipped in his back again. But the ball instead goes to, goes to Spangler, close up to the line. And he dives across on the cross buck, and he picked up yardage on that play, taking the ball up to the 37-yard line. Third down now, and three yards to go. Third and three, Spangler on a cross buck, taking that ball from close up. His position was up back, drove across the line, and made it, made four yards on the play. Again, it's fun formation to come out of the huddle. Tipton back, and he's going to kick, and the kick is away. It's being taken by Lanzo. He takes out his 25. He's being smothered in there. He's straight on two players. He gets away from two more, and fights his way back up to the 30-yard line. A beautiful return in there before he's brought down by Spangler. Granny Lanzo, living up to every promise that he has shown so far this season, takes that ball on his own 25-yard line. He had two Duke ends down on him very fast. Donnell and Perdue were down. He straight on both of them off, reversed his field, one tackler, and was finally dropped on the five-yard line by Spangler as he was whirling off balance. Out of the huddle, up the line of scrimmage come the Trojans. There goes the ship. Thanks to Lanzo back. It was a fake quick kick, but it goes to Morgan on a reverse. And he starts out on his own right end, but he's dropped behind the line of scrimmage back there by Purdue. Purdue and Maloney diagnosed that play and stopped Morgan, the flash of the Trojans, as he took the ball on a reverse after a fake quick kick by Granny Lanzo. Started out around his own right end and was dropped right on the line of scrimmage. Second down. Ten yards to go. The ball on their own 30-yard line. The Trojans come up the line of scrimmage. There's the ship. Lance goes back, he's going to pass, he shoots it, it's a bullet pass right over the center of the line, completed to Winslow, and Winslow is finally dropped on the 47 yard, pardon me, 44 yard line by Tipton. Tipton came in and caught him just as he got that ball. 
dove in with a hard diving tackle, but the pass was complete up to the 44-yard line, where it is now first down and 10 yards to go for the Trojans. A very nicely executed pass. Lanslow to Winslow. There's the shift. Lanslow is back. Ball goes back to Lanslow. He's going to pass. He shoots it out in the flat. It's complete to Sankster. Sankster is reversing his field. He's almost stopped. And there's that Duke tackle. He stopped finally on the 48-yard line by O'Mara. O'Mara came up and stopped Sankster after he got that pass in the flat out to the right and made that Duke tackle that Wall of Wade has said that he was going to. Came up very fast and tackled him around the track. Duke University is now taking time out. Haas was managed on that play of Duke University. Haas, the right tackle. But the repairs were made on the field. And uh, we thought time was coming back in, but it hasn't for just a moment. The Duke University players have gathered around in a huddle now. So time has not been declared in. The Trojans have uh, gotten into a huddle also to talk over what they're going to do next. Second down, six yards to go. Southern California in possession of the ball. No score on this ball game so far. Second down. Six yards to go, and the ball in possession of the Trojans on their own 48-yard line. Here they come up, out of the huddle, up to the line of scrimmage. First shift is made. There's a fake. The ball goes to Lanzo. And the, on a full spinner, he dives into the line, but he stopped in there after a very short gain. He picked up a yard on that play. Picked up two yards on that play, putting the ball on the, right on the 50-yard line, where it is third down and four yards to go. He was... That, Lansdell was stopped in there by York, stopped very hard. Out of the huddle and up the line of scrimmage again. Trojans, there's the shift. Lansdell is back. There's another shift. It's a double shift. The ball goes to Sangster. He's starting out around his own left end, and he cuts in on tackle there, and is finally smeared upon by a... It looked like half the Duke team broke through that interference and stopped him, but not until after he crossed the midfield stripe and gotten up to the 46-yard line. Eve finally brought him down on the 46-yard line. Looks as though a first down, but I believe they're going to measure. It is a first down. It is a first down. They're not going to measure. First down and 10 yards to go for Southern California on the Duke Blue Devils 46-yard line. Back in the huddle. Ansel looks up, looks over the Duke team. Calls his signal. Here they come out of the huddle up the line of scrimmage. Thanks is back. There's a ship. Lanzel is back now. Lanzel's going back to fade. Beautiful interference there. He's Running up, now he's shooting a long one down here. They shoot, oh, he was covered beautifully in there. Winslow going down the field, but was covered beautifully in there by Eve and O'Mara. Couldn't get his hands on that ball at all. He was sandwiched right in behind, between the two Duke players. It looked like a white piece of turkey meat between two slices of blue bread, if you can imagine such a thing. Back they go, Third down, second down, 10 yards to go. The ball still in possession of USC on uh, the Duke. 46-yard line. Out of the huddle, up the line of scrimmage. There's a shift. Thanks is back. Now Lanzo's back after that double shift. There's a short pass out of the center of the line, and it was almost intercepted in there by Hill. Co-captain Hill, the center of the Duke Blue Devils, tried to take that ball, but it was shot like a rifle bullet. Lanzo really leveling on that one, and it went as an incomplete pass. Third down, 10 yards to go. Ball still on the 46-yard line on the Duke Blue Devils 46-yard line. Trojans back in the huddle calling their signals. Third and ten, here they come up the line of scrimmage. Short punt formation. Lanzel's back, now there's the shift. Up close the line again, Lanzel's going to shoot a pass. He shoots it out to the left, and it is complete to Morgan. Morgan is finally knocked out of bounds by Tipton. Eric the Red Tipton finally knocked Morgan out of bounds after he made a nice running catch of that pass. He's knocked out of bounds on the 37-yard line. Knocked out of bounds on the 37-yard line. Fourth down and just a yard to go for SC. What will they do? The ball now on the 37-yard line in uh, Duke Blue Devil territory, but it looks as though they're going to kick. Only one yard to go, but they're taking no chances. Ready for the pass. There it goes, and he's trying to kick out of bounds. Oh, it looked for a moment as though it were going out of bounds. He kicked completely away from the safety man, but the ball bounced over the goal line into the end zone, just short of the sideline. 
It's going to be a bad ball game. It's beginning to rain out here now. The ball is a little wet, just a trifle slippery. You can imagine wet pork hide. You have an idea of how hard it's going to be for these balls to handle, for these boys to handle the ball. First and ten for the Duke Blue Devils on their own 20-yard line. First and ten for Duke on their own 20-yard line. They stepped in back in front of the formation. They come out of the huddle, standing back on his own 10-yard line. There's the ball, but instead it goes to O'Mara, close up. He dives over his own right guard and picks himself three yards, making a second down and seven yards to go. The ball resting on the 23-yard line. But Neil Antonelli finally stopping O'Mara's right. Back in the huddle. Blue Devils figuring out their next play. Trojans waiting for this next one. Here they come. Very slowly, this Duke team comes out of the huddle. Very slowly, up the line of scrimmage. They're running most of their plays from front formation. Tipped in his back. They never know whether he's going to kick or not. The Duke quarterback has to call his signals with his hands through his mouth so that everyone can hear it. Tipped in his back. There's the ball. He's getting away a kick. And it's not as good a kick as he has before. The ball's coming down. It's bouncing. Covered in there and bouncing on down toward Trojan territory where it is finally... Finally covered completely by the Duke Blue Devils. York finally downing the ball on the 31-yard line. First and 10 for the Trojans on their own 31-yard line. Tipton getting away what for him is a bad kick. The ball taking a bad bounce. Bouncing past Lansville and finally being downed by York. 31-yard line. Out of the huddle up the line of scrimmage. That's preliminary shift. Second shift. The ball goes to Lanzo. He's fading back to pass. He's being rushed. It looks like we're going to be top, but he's going to get it away. Very nice play in there by Lanzo, but his pass is incomplete. It was intended for Winslow. Winslow was covered in there by Eves and O'Mara. He had no chance to make it. He made a diving try to catch it, but he couldn't. Lanzo was run on almost top. He eluded one tackler. Purdue was in there very fast rushing him. He eluded him. Got run almost back to the line of scrimmage. Stopped. Coolly picked his man, Winslow and threw the pass right down along the sideline, but in spite of Winslow's try for it, he dove for it very hard. Fangler and O'Mara were right there beside him, and he couldn't get his hands under the ball. Second down, 10 yards to go. The ball still on Southern California's 31-yard line. There's the shift, there's Lanzo back, and he hits a quick kick, a very high one. Fangler is back to take it. He takes it on his own 25, he's up to the 30, up to the 35. And the whole team finally swarmed on him as he got to the 39-yard line. Ducker finally bringing him down at the bottom of the pile. First and 10 for the Duke Blue Devils on their own 39-yard line. Ducker coming in there finally after half the Trojan team was there. There was a clipping penalty, however. Clipping penalty against Duke. A 15-yard penalty, taking the ball back to the 26-yard line. Two Blood Evers come out of the huddle, up the line of scrimmage, tipped in his back in the punt formation. The ball is snapped, getting away a high punt. Coming down, it's being taken by Lansdell, who signals for a fair catch on his own 30-yard line. But uh-oh, uh-oh, there's a penalty on the play. They're standing back now on the Duke Blue Devils 30-yard line. we we'll see what it is. It's a penalty for roughing the kicker. A penalty for roughing the kicker. The referee's measuring off the steps. 15 yards on that penalty. Bring the ball up now to the Blue Devils 45-yard line. 45-yard line. First and 10 on their own 45-yard line. There's the huddle. Up the line of scrimmage. Tipped in his back. Takes the ball. Fades back. Starts the pass, and it's intended for Spangler, but it's falling incomplete. Second down and 10 yards to go. Still on their 45-yard line. Neal was in there and batted that pass down. It was intended for Spangler. The tipped and pass to Spangler was over his head, batted down by McNeil. Second down, 10 yards to go. The ball in possession of the Duke Blue Devils on their own 45-yard line. There's no score so far in the ball game. Ryabar has gone in in place of 
Maloney at left tackle, and Bailey has replaced Darnell at right end for the Blue Devils. Out of the huddle, up the line of scrimmage. Now the ball is snapped. He's going back to Tipton. He's going around his own right hand. He's cutting in. He's almost warmed upon by a host of players there. The Trojans broke through, but by beautiful open field running, Tipton got through until finally Hoffman batted him out of bounds. Taking it right up to the 50-yard line, where it is now third down, five yards to go. The ball in possession of the Duke Blue Doubles on the, right in the middle of the field, on the 50-yard line. Back into the huddle. The uniforms all clustered around. As the signals and across the field, half a Trojan team is warming up. Tipton is back now as they come out of the huddle up the line of scrimmage, standing back in front formation on his own 40-yard line. The ball resting on the midfield stripe. Ball is snapped. He's going to kick. He's kicking a low one, kicking away, away from Lansdell, and the ball, a beautiful kick, comes down, stops absolutely dead with backspin on it, just as you put on a golf ball, and rolls out of bounds on the Trojan 10-yard line. First and 10 for the Trojans. Johnny Lansdell had no chance to get his hands on that ball at all. Net 40 yards on that kick, a beautiful low kick, aiming just as he'd aim a rifle, and when the ball finally came to rest, it had backspin on it, as though he were dropping it in on the green in a golf contest. A beautiful kick, first and ten for the Trojans. The ball moves 15 yards in from the east sideline. Davis is going in for Duke. This moment, he's replacing Eve. Davis replacing Eve for Duke at halfback. First and ten for the Trojans. The ball on their own ten-yard line. There's the shift. Lansdell is back. There's the snap. The ball snap. He gets a beautiful hole of his own right tackle, reversing his field. Coming full of the field before he finally moves out of bounds. Pushed out of bounds. We'll see where the referee rolls it. We'll see where the referee rolls it. 35 yards on the 35 yards on the 25 run there by run by Lansdell. He found, a by Lando. he found a beautiful hole. He found a beautiful hole. He started back in. on right tackle. We'll have to get back in. in. First, he's still half of the east side. First, he's still started over the east side. Side line. Up that side line. Dancing, he played up that side line. When he was finally batted out of bounds. First, ten for the Georgia on their own thirty-five yard line. First, ten for the Georgia on their own thirty-five yard line. Here they come. The ball is snapped. He's going back. The ball is going back. The ball is finally going to pass. He finally shoots it up there. A pass out into the flat. Intended for Borgen. He threw that while he was running at full speed. He was rushing all the way up by Davis. Davis chasing him all the way across. He was cutting loose. 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 Thanks for trying hard to go through the center of the line. Taking it from the short point at all. He's not getting away at all. He's stopped behind the lead. He's in there by Roger and Bailey. And he looks to me as though he's stopped himself. Third down. Yard. 11 yards to go. Third down. 11 yards to go. The ball now on the Trojan 34-yard line. Ansel is, is back in front formation as they come out. Back in front formation as they come out. The Heinzler is playing safety for the Duke Blue Devils. Safety position for the Duke Blue Devils. Oh, they're looking offside, but there is a nice oh, high kick going. Side, but there is a nice high kick going. Heinzler's taking it. He's up the field. He's taking it. And he's up the field. He's coming up. And he's going to still dive yard. Winslow is going to Winslow getting down the pathway and diagnosing which way he's going to run. Hitting with a beautiful low tackle. He's going to be dropping on the 35 yard line. On the 35 yard line. First and for Duke, first and ten for Duke on their own 35-yard line. Out of the huddle, coming up very slowly. Out of the huddle, again, they're coming up very slowly. Now they're beginning to show just a little bit more double as they come out of the huddle, however. The Duke Blue Devils coming up, going back over to the right. Then going back over to the right. Gets to O'Mara back. But the ball goes to O'Mara. And the ball goes to O'Mara. And the ball goes to and off right tackle, and picked up about three yards. He stopped in there by the whole left side. Notably being at the bottom of that notably being at the bottom of that two yards in the play. Two yards in the play. Three yards in the play. Three yards in the play. Seven yards in the play. Second down, seven yards to go. Second down, seven yards to go. The ball now on the Duke 38 yard. On the Duke 38 yard line. There was a 
Five-yard penalty, though. That was a five-yard penalty, penalty, though. Against you. Backfield in motion against you. Second down. Second down. 15 yards to go. And 15 yards to go. First and 15, I beg your pardon. First, First and 15. 15, I beg your pardon. First and 15. Come out of the huddle, tipped in his back in front formation. Come out of the huddle, tipped in his back in front formation again. Think for the ball to be snapped. Think for the ball to be snapped. Think for one of his linemen to watch an opposing man coming in. There's the ball, it's a low one. There's the snap, the ball, it's a low one. And he's almost trapped. He takes the ball and throws a pass. The pass is going to be passed. And Spangler gets the ball. And Spangler gets the ball. Out of bounds on the east side line. Yard he gets up to the 40 yard line. 10 yards picked up on that play. 10 yards Second picked up down, on that play. Second down, five yards to go. Back in front formation. Tipton, back in front formation. It looked as though he intended to kick. Got a very bad pass. The ball was very low. Took the ball. The man was about to be tackled. Got the nice lobbing pass to Spangler. And Spangler was finally knocked out of bounds by Smith. On the east side line, that's a gain of 10 yards. Second and five. Tipton is back. There's another low pass, but he picks it up. back. There's another low pass, but he picks it up and gets that kick away. Giants are taking it. Lines will take this cut and signal for a fair cut. He catches it on his own 18 yard line. He's taking no chances on those Duke who are down there very fast. Bailey and Fadu who are down there very fast. The ball is signal for a fair catch. The ball is a little damp and slippery. And Lansdell is taking no chances at all. First and ten. First and ten for the Trojans on their own 18 yard line. Back into the huddle they go. Back into the huddle they go. Charging again. Up they come charging again. There's the shift. Lines go back. There's the shift. Randall back. Lanzo. Ball goes to Randall. Right he's standing back now. He's coming around. He's going right in. Beautiful, beautiful interference in there. Oh, what a beautiful block that was. He's finally. going up. And finally, 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 finally he has not got a bound. As he gets to the 38-yard line, line. Davis knocking him out of bounds. A beautiful Smith. block in there out of the by Smith. Head. Smith pulled out of the line to head the interference. Came around. And out. Comes around. Lanzo. Coming wide around. Comes around to his right. Coming wide around end. There was only one man, the secondary man came over, and he was blocked out of it beautifully. Davis was blocked out beautifully by Smith. A hard body block that knocked him completely off his field, off his feet. Dancing up the And Lanzo, dancing up the sideline, takes his way up to the 38-yard line. First and the Trojans on their own 38-yard line. There's the ball. There's the ball. It's a reverse to Morgan. Morgan is stuck all way behind the line of scrimmage. He's got a lot of as Ryber comes in there fast, Ryber and Tipton came in and stopped Morgan way behind, behind the line of scrimmage, way behind, back on the 32-yard line, where it is. And second down, and 16 yards to go. That was a reverse to Morgan. from Sangster to Morgan. Morgan starting out around the left side of his line, but Tipton and knocked him down hard. Came in and, and knocked him down, down hard. There's a pass in front again. Randall shooting a short pass from the center of the line. And it's complete. Complete to Hoffman. Complete to Hoffman. A very fast play. A short pass complete to the line. To Hoffman complete before Davis and Burns. Burns stopped him in there. Right on the 35-yard line. Third down. And there is the gun ending the first quarter. A marvelous exhibition in here by the both ball clubs. It's been a kicking duel so far. And both teams are substituting liberally. The Trojans are coming out with a brand new team. And Duke is putting in almost an entirely new team. We'll have these substitutions for you in just a moment. A couple of substitutions for you in just a moment. The backfield for Duke is Tipton, McAfee, O'Mara, and Davis. We'll have the uh, Trojan backfield in just a moment. Change of kicks here. Tipton kicking again. 
kicking back to USC, the ball coming down, and then bouncing back toward the Duke Blue Devils that hit on the 35-yard line and then bounced back to the 38-yard line before it was finally down by one of the Duke linemen who got down there fast. First and 10 for Southern California on the own 38-yard line. Here they come, out of the huddle, up the line of scrimmage. There's the shift. Anderson has the ball. at pass it in his feet. He's getting away, coming around the, own left, the left side of his own line, and he fights and battles his way as his interference falls until he gets up to the 45-yard line before he stops in there by shift. Second down, three yards to go on the 45-yard line. Out of the huddle up the line of scrimmage. Anderson is back again on the shift. Ball goes to Anderson. He's starting out around his own right end again. This time he's running over to the sideline, but his interference is folded up. It got right in his way, and he has finally dropped as he gets up to the right to the 50-yard line. Right on the 50-yard line in the middle of the field. Anderson taking the ball that time. Running into his own interference as he tried to skirt his own right hand. Going very fast, but he did manage to make it a first down. First and ten for Southern California. The ball in their possession, the 50-yard strike. The backfield for Southern California at the present time is Anderson, Jones, Banta, and Shell. For Duke, Tipton, McAfee, O'Mara, and Davis. Time is being taken out. Ball goes to Anderson. Anderson tries to go over his own between left guard and left tackle, and he stops with only a yard gain. Second down, nine yards to go for Southern California. The ball in their possession on their 49-yard line. Back into the back in the huddle they go. Up the line of scrimmage. Coming up fast now. There's the shift again, a double shift. Anderson again is back. Anderson takes the ball. Starts off his own right tackle. He's stopped momentarily behind the line of scrimmage in there. Fights his way, his legs churning in there like piston, pistons driving an engine, and gets up to the 46-yard line. Oh, how he drove in there. Going very hard, he was stopped behind the line of scrimmage, then continued his drive, kicked loose from the tackler, and gets himself up to the 45-yard line, where it is now. Third down. Third down and five yards to go. Third and five. For the Trojans, the ball in their own possession. There's a single wing back over to the left. The ball goes to Anderson again. He's coming around his own left end. It cuts in very sharply, but he's hit in there very hard by two Duke secondary men, McAfee and Davis. And they stop him as he gets to the 43-yard line. It is fourth down. Fourth down, three yards to go. The ball in the Southern California's possession on their own on Duke's 43-yard line. One formation. Anderson is going to kick. McAfee playing safety. There's a pass from center. There's a kick, and it's a block ball, and it's recovered by the Trojans. Bailey came in there very fast, blocked that kick. It hit him right in the stomach, bounced away from him, and it looked for a moment as though the ball were recovered in there by a Trojan, but it wasn't. fell on it, but the ball is ruled as belonging to Duke. The ball in their possession, uh, in their possession on their own 45-yard line. Oh, how that Duke line came charging in there. Anderson didn't have quite enough space between he and the line. He wasn't back far enough, and the ball was blocked by Bailey and Maloney. Maloney, who came in there very fast. They're stepped him with the ball. He's trying to skirt his own left end. And he is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. He lost about four yards on that play. He was stopped in there by Banta, who came charging in and dropped him hard. Lost five yards on the play. Second down, 15 yards to go. The ball in possession of the Duke Blue Devils on their own 40-yard line. Back in the huddle they go. Up the line of scrimmage. Tipton is back in front formation again. If it weren't for this boy, Tipton... Don't know what Duke would do. Back in front formation. Anderson playing safety. There's a pass from center, but it's a bad one. He's rushing there badly. Tipton starts the pass. 
Then elects to run with the ball. Reversing field gets by four or five tacklers. Gets his way up to the 48-yard line before he is finally dropped by Shell. A beautiful bit of running in there. Very quick thinking and hard running by Eric the Red Tipton. He got a pass from center that wasn't too good. He was rushed in there very fast by half the Trojan line. He started to pass, so he couldn't find a receiver uncovered, and started up the field, cutting out just outside right tackle, getting up to the 48-yard line before he was finally stopped by Shell. The pass in center. Tipton's going to kick this time. It's a very nice kick coming down to Anderson. Anderson takes the ball. Takes on his own 20-yard line and gets to the 25 before those ends again. Purdue and Bailey are down on him and stop him right on the 25-yard line. First and 10. First and 10 for Southern California. The ball in their own 25-yard line. The ends coming down there very fast. Purdue, Bailey, and Winterson a tackle finally making the final tackle on Andy. Trojans coming out of the huddle. No, there's a mistake in the signals. Back they go. Have to change the signals. First and ten, no score in the ball game. Here they come up the line of scrimmage. There's a double shift. Anderson goes back. He's starting out around his own right end. There's nice interference in there. He's almost blocked, but his interference stops it. He gets up and is fighting his way until he gets up to the 35-yard line before Tipton. Tipton comes in and stops him. A very nice run in there by Anderson. And what beautiful blocking he's getting in there by Banta. Banta's making a beautiful block there. Smith, of course, leading the interference and doing a beautiful job of it. Time is being taken out by the Trojans. There's a man hurt on the play. And in just a moment, we'll find out who it is. It's first down, 10 yards to go for Southern California. The ball in their possession on their own 35-yard line. First and 10 for Southern California on their own 35-yard line. They're out of the huddle, up the line of scrimmage. There's a pass from center. It goes to Banta. And Banta drives over the center of his line, picking up five yards and taking the ball up to the 40-yard line where he is finally dropped down by Purdue with a hard sack. Second down, five yards to go. The ball in possession of the Trojans on their own 40-yard line. Second and five. Back into the huddle go the Trojans. Out of it, up the line of scrimmage. Front formation. And there's the pass from center without that second step. The ball goes to Banta. Banta tries to shoot off left tackle, but he's stopped in there by Maloney, Johnson, and York. He failed again on that play. Failed again at all, making a third down. Five yards to go. The ball still on the Trojan 40-yard line. They're in possession of the ball, and there's no score in the ball game so far. Lines. Back into the huddle, the Duke team goes, calling their signals. Trojans talking it up, a lot of fight and pep down there. No score in the ball game. Single wing back to the right. Tipton is back. Tipton has the ball. He's going to pass. There's a long one coming on here. And it, oh, it was complete. It was intended for Spangler. The ball was intended for Spangler. He had it right in his hands. He had that extra step on Anderson that he needed. He was out in front and almost had a clear field away, but just as he caught the ball, it slipped right out of his hands, and it was an incomplete pass. Second down, 10 yards to go. The ball in possession of Duke University on their own 40-yard line, and, oh, it was too bad that pass was dropped. It looked for a moment as though Spangler were away to the races in the promised land. Back into the huddle now, calling the signals. Come up the line of scrimmage. Is over the ball. O'Mara and Tipton are back. Single wing back over to the right. There's the ball. It goes to Tipton. He fakes the pass. Goes right through center. Finds a beautiful hole. And drives his way up to the 48-yard line. To the 49-yard line before Dempsey caught him by one leg and dragged him down. Slipped him, really. And he hit the ground on the 49-yard line. Third down, one yard to go. Third and one for Duke on their own 49-yard line. A beautiful drive through the center of the line by Tipton, netting nine yards. 
Tipton is back in punt formation as they come up the line of scrimmage. There's the ball. But instead, it goes to O'Mara, who is the up back, and he gets across the 50-yard line over into Trojan territory, making it a first down. We see right where the referee puts the ball down. There was a big pileup of players there. He picked up two yards on that play, moving over up to the Trojan 48-yard line, where Gasper finally stopped it. First and ten for Duke on the Trojan 48-yard line. Duke in possession of the ball. Here they come out of the huddle, up the line of scrimmage. They come out very slowly, but very businesslike. The single wing back to the left. O'Mara and Tipton are back. The ball goes to O'Mara. And on a full spin as he fakes a reverse, he goes over center and picks up to the 44-yard line, picking up four yards on the play before... Second down now. Shell finally stopped him on the 44-yard line. Second down, six yards to go. Out of the huddle up the line of scrimmage. Single wing back to the left. Tipton O'Mara back. Taking their time. There's the pass from center. It goes to O'Mara. He gives it on a reverse to Spangler. Spangler is smeared. Oh, he's smeared way back on his own 46-yard line. Smeared back on the, pardon me, he smeared on the 48-yard line by Kruger, who came in there fast and smashed up that reverse play, dove right through the interference, and dropped Spangler back on the 48-yard line. Third and 14 for Duke on their own 48-yard line. After that drive up, looks as though they were going, and then stopped cold. Out of the huddle, up the line of scrimmage. Five minutes of play left in this second quarter. Tipton is back. Front formation. There's the pass from center. Nice one. Tipton's getting off a nice high kick. Oh, it's a beauty. But it is over into the end zone, over the goal line, into the end zone. And there will be brought out, put into possession of the Trojans on their own 20-yard line. A beautiful kick by Tipton, who is living up to all that has been said about him as a football player. Five minutes, five minutes left to go in this quarter. And so far the score is nothing to nothing. Out of the huddle, up the line of scrimmage. Day, who has gone into the game, replacing Anderson, tried to get away a quick kick. It was blocked by Purdue. Purdue came rushing in there very fast. And York, York and Purdue both blocked it, but Day ran back, fell on the ball himself. The ball bouncing back to the Trojan 10-yard line, and Day recovering that ball. Now, Day is back, standing right in the end zone. The ball is snapped. He's in front formation. He gets away a low kick. Coming back here to Spangler. Spangler is taking it on the 50. He's dodging right up the center of the field until he's finally smeared by a lot of Trojan players. Half the line was up there after he gets clear over into Trojan territory up to the 37-yard line. Get up to the 37-yard line, but there, there's a Trojan player hurt on the play. Looks to me as though there's going to have to be time taken out and at the same time, Duke University is going to take an opportunity to make a substitution. Stonebreaker was the Trojan heard on that play. Possession of the Duke Blue Devils, first and ten on the Trojan 38-yard line. Single wing back to the right. Tipton takes the ball. He's shooting a pass over the center of the line, but he shoots it too far. It was intercepted there. It was batted down and then intercepted. Jones, Jones catching the ball after it had been tipped through three players' hands. Caught the ball on about the 20-yard line and got back to the 30-yard line before he was stopped in there by Spangler and Purdue, who finally caught him. What a break for the Trojans that was. That pass Tipton through was over the center of the line, intended for Bailey. It was a lobbing pass. Jones intercepted it after four or five players had touched it and was... 
finally tackled by Spangler and Purdue. Here the Trojans up the line of scrimmage. The ball is snapped. Jones has the ball. And oh, on a beautiful run, he comes way out around his own left end, running beautifully behind. Nice interference. He's finally knocked out of bounds by York after a game. We'll see just where he was knocked out of bounds. They bring the ball up to the 39-yard line. A very nice run in there, very wide around left end. Ball in possession of the Trojans on their own 39-yard line. Second down and one yard to go. It's even so close they're going to measure. Here come the linemen out across the field, and as they come across the field, a slight drizzle coming down. The fans in the stands, and not a one of them are getting up and getting ready to leave, however. What a great ball game this is. They're all sitting here pulling out over them. A few uh, get out newspapers. The rest merely disregard the slight drizzle and let it go at that. It, it wasn't a first down by inches. There must be not more than three inches to go for the Trojans. The ball in their possession. Second down, less than a yard to go on their own 39-yard line. Here they come out of the huddle up the line of scrimmage. There's the shift, single wing back to the right. Jones and Day are back. Vanna takes the ball, however. Vanna takes the ball and dives over center, and it looks as though he made it a first down before he was stopped by Hill and Johnson. It is a first down. A first down for the Trojans. First and ten. The ball in their possession on their own 42-yard line. The huddle up the line of scrimmage. They're calling signals very fast. There's the ball snap. Going back to Day. Day's fading way back. He's being rushed. He shoots the pass out there. It was intended for Jones. He shoots the pass out to the right, intended for Jones. Jones jumped high in the air, but he couldn't keep his hands on it. He was covered in there by Davis, O'Mara, and Spangler. He couldn't keep his hands on it, and it goes as an incomplete pass. Second down, 10 yards to go. The Trojans possession of the ball on their own 42-yard line. Back into the huddle. The Trojans calling the signals very fast. They must be calling them in series. They just barely go back into the huddle, right up the line of scrimmage. They come up very fast. Of life and pep. There's the double shift. Single wing back to the right again. Day is back. Day takes the ball. He's fading back. He's going to shoot a pass. And it's a long one down here, but it's way too long. Way too long. It was intended for Winslow. Winslow was down there, but he was covered by Tipton and Spangler. As a matter of fact, Tipton was beyond him. It looked for a moment as though Tipton could get his hands on the ball, but he couldn't quite get over to the east side lines in time. Third down now for the Trojans. The ball in their own possession on their 42 yard line. Third down, 10 yards to go. Back into the huddle they go to call the signals. Out of the huddle, up the line of scrimmage. There's the shift. Jones is back. The ball goes to Day. Day's trying to get around. He's stopped and stopped way behind the line of scrimmage. Stopped way behind the line of scrimmage. Dropped back there on the 37-yard line. He's dropped in the 37-yard line by Maloney. Maloney came through there and dropped him clear back on the 37-yard line. Fourth down and 15 yards to go for the Trojans. Day trying to wait and spot a receiver that was uncovered on that pass play, but he couldn't quite get away. Maloney came in fast and dropped him way behind the line of scrimmage. Here it is, punt formation. Day is back. Kick. Bangler playing safety. There's the pass in the center. There's the kick. And it's a honey. A very nice kick, unless it went out of bounds too far, too soon. As a matter of fact, it was a little earlier, I think, than than they expected. You see where they marked the ball down? Putting right on the 20-yard line. The ball went out of bounds on the 20-yard line, and there it goes into possession of Duke University. First and 10 on their own 20, 15 yards in from the west sideline. The Duke substitution coming up. We'll have that for you in just a minute. There's going to be quite a few changes here in the Duke lineup. As a matter of fact, two or three are being made. We'll have those changes for you in just one moment. Darnell went in at end to replace Bailey. Alabaster went in at right guard. Out of the huddle, up the line of scrimmage. Tipped in his back. Takes the ball from center. He's diving across right guard. Up he goes. He's going up very far, fast. He's getting away from one, from two, and he's finally brought down as he gets up to the 35-yard line where it is a first down for Duke University. First and 10 for Duke University on their own 35-yard line. 
He was brought down in there finally by Smith. First and ten for Duke University. No score so far in this ball game. And again, Duke University is taking time out. And while, they, while he, Duke University is taking time out, the Trojans take the opportunity of gathering around their little water cart. One minute left to play in the half so far. Darnell is in at right hand for Duke. Alabaster is in at right guard. And Vibar replaced Maloney at left tackle. Here comes Duke up to the line of scrimmage. First and ten. The ball in their possession on their own 35-yard line. The single wing back to the left. Tipped in his back. Taking plenty of time. Waiting for that signal there. The ball is snapped. Tipped in his fading back. He's almost, he stopped, he tries to spot a receiver. He's almost up behind the line of scrimmage. He gets away from him. He's way up the field. He's across the 50 yard marker and up to the Trojan 48 yard line before Shell gets him and pushes him out of bounds. A beautiful play there. Tipton fading back, looking for a pass receiver, not finding one open. Deciding to start and run with the ball. He's almost trapped behind the line of scrimmage. Gets away, gets running right up the sidelines, the west sidelines, gets up over into Trojan territory to the 48 yard line. A beautiful run in there by Eric the Red Tipton. Here comes Duke. Out of the huddle up the line of scrimmage. Less than a minute left to play in this half. Ball in their possession on the Trojan 48-yard line. Tipton is back. He's going to pass this time. He finds a man out there. He shoots it. It's a long one. And it is knocked down. It was intended for Spangler. Spangler that ball, but he was covered all the way across the field. Banta was right there with him every step of the way and just reached over his shoulder and batted that ball down. Second down, 10 yards to go for the Duke Blue Devils. The ball in their possession on the Trojan, 48-yard line. About 40 seconds left to play in this half. Back into the huddle. Calling the signals, the ball just 15 yards in from the west side line. They were way out in the center of the field calling the signals. Now they have to come back over to where the ball is. As though there's some mix-up in signals there. They're taking their time, getting up in the line. The single wing back over to the left. Spangler's back. Ball goes to Spangler. A hole opens up for him as he dives over guard and goes up to the 43-yard line. Up to the 43-yard line. Third down, five yards to go. There's a substitution coming in. There's a substitution coming in for Duke. Putting it at end is Marion. Marion replacing Purdue. Less than a half a minute left to play now. Less than a half a minute. That timeout gave Duke just time to call their signals. They're not even going into the huddle this time. They're up in the line of scrimmage. Just a single wing back to the right. The ball in the four Trojan 43-yard line. As the pass from center goes to Tipton, he's going to shoot a long pass. Oh, he shoots away down there, but there are two. It was intended for Spangler, but there were two Trojans in there. Day and Fanta sandwiching him in and knocking the ball down incomplete. Fourth down, five yards to go. It doesn't look as though there were even going to be time for one more play in this half. Fourth down, five yards to go. The ball in possession of the Duke Blue Devils on the Trojan 43-yard line. Fourth and five, and here they are calling the signals. Coming up the line of scrimmage. Just time enough for one more play, or maybe perhaps two more plays. Single wing back to the left. Tipton is back. Ball is snapped. Tipton is starting out around his own left end. He's running fast. He eludes two tacklers and gets up to the 41-yard line before he's dropped in there. Cut down, his legs cut down by Dempsey and Shell. Up to the 41-yard line. A wide end run by Tipton, taking the ball from a single wing back to the left. Time is, is being taken out by the Trojans. And there is a penalty for that. Five-yard penalty against the Trojans. Too many timeouts. Five yards against the Trojans for too many timeouts. And now that puts the ball down to the 36-yard line. Pass from center. Pass goes back to Ollie Day. And Ollie throws the ball, throws it completely away. Crosses out for Jones. A pass out to the left. A last minute, last dying 
chance in this half with less than five seconds to go. Coming back up to the, the ball now. Second down, ten yards to go. The Trojan possession of the ball. Jackson replaced Shell. Rob went in for Davis of Duke. Out of the huddle up the line of scrimmage in Southern California. Jones is back. All day on the shift. Day takes the ball. He's going to shoot another long pass. Coming way down here. And it is intercepted. Intercepted by Tipton. But it does. Just a minute. We'll see whether it is. It was intercepted on the 37 yard line by Tipton. The pass was intended for Kruger. Kruger couldn't get his hands on it. Tipton jumped high in the air, took that ball, and there it lays on the 37 yard line now. 37 yard line, first and 10 for Duke University on their own 37 yard line. Where they'll start this next play. Time is being taken out as Duke rushes in a number of substitutions. The score, nothing to nothing, between the Duke University Blue Devils and the Trojans of Southern California. What a ball game this has been the first half. What the second half will bring, we can't tell you. During halftime, we're going to present to you a great many interesting personalities of the sports world who will give you their idea of what is going to happen and perhaps a little expert opinion on what has happened in the first half. But in the meantime, to give you some of the on-the-field activities, the man who's responsible for a great deal of the spotting in this ball game, my right-hand man and assistant, Hank Weaver. Hank, will you describe for our listening audience just what is occurring on the field below it? Thank you very much, Ken Barton. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and a very happy New Year to you all. As we sit here in halftime uh, in our press box overlooking the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, the sky has become very clouded, and all over as there is a fall settling over the bowl itself, the people here, a turnaway crowd of some 80,000 people are in a very jubilant mood, enjoying one of the greatest football games ever played here in this historic Rose Bowl. As I am speaking to you, the colorful uh, University of Southern California Trojan band, attired in their maroon and scarlet uh, cadet uniforms, have filed out on the field, and to the accompaniment of that favorite ballad a few years ago, smoke gets in your eyes, they march in a sema, you might so call a sema funeral step, and as the band plays, smoke gets in your eyes to a funeral dirge tempo. This undoubtedly is for the benefit of the Blue Devils of Duke University, and in this manner, the Trojan fan is trying to give the Duke boys some idea of just what they might expect when they come out at halftime. As you know already, the score is still nothing to nothing in this ball game at halftime, and although the Trojans were able to penetrate into deep into Duke territory at one time or another, at each uh, point, the Duke forward wall rose up in a solid blue mass and turned back the offensive thrust of the Trojans. And now, coming into our radio booth at the present time is the very prominent coach of collegiate and professional football ranks, Coach Paul Schisler. And now, Paul, if you will come in and tell us just a little bit about your reactions to this ball game. Not so much in uh, the way of prognostication, but if you'd like, as a football, Dodgers and the Chicago Cardinals of the National League, and more recently, the Hollywood Stars here in California. Will you please come in and analyze this ball game from the standpoint of an expert, Paul Schisler? Well, ladies and gentlemen, this ball game uh, has turned out just exactly as we expected it to insofar as Duke's defensive play and their kicking is concerned. The Trojans are not clicking very well offensively. It seems to me that the line today for the first time in the last three games is being outcharged about half the time in this first half. The thing that has impressed me particularly in this first half is that in the second quarter, Duke University has and starting their pass plays has turned all of them into running plays. In other words, the passer receiving the ball from center drops back and apparently gets ready to pass and all the blockers block for him just as though they were going to pass. Instead of passing, he holds the ball, finds no receiver in the clear and suddenly starts running. Those have been Duke's strongest running plays. On those, they've made their first downs and their longest runs of the game. Frankly, they look pretty dangerous to me and I'm not so sure of what this game might not result in a scoreless tie. Although I look for the Trojans to come back and play their best ball in the last half as they have in all the other games so far this season. 
Paul, uh, thank you very much. And just for a moment, before you go away, you have already in the past uh, given the football faithful of the Southland some idea of just the way you think this ball game will come out. You predicted that the Southern California Trojans would come out of the ball game triumphant by the margin of two touchdowns. However, aside from your prognostication and the possible outcome of this ball game, I would like to single out a man who is the most publicized player on the field this afternoon. That is Eric the Red Tipton. And I would like to have you tell me just what you think of the boys' prospects in pro football. Well, I think uh, he's without a question one of the finest football players we've seen in California this year. His punting is sensational. He's a sweet kicker. He's a wonderful punter. And he's a very excellent defensive player. Whoever picked him on the All-American team didn't make any mistake. That's the way I feel about Red Tipton. Thank you very much, Paul Schiffer. And now, Bud Ernst, come in. Thanks. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, an opinion that we all respect here and have learned to on the Pacific Coast from the sports editor of the Los Angeles Daily News. We'd like a few words from Ken Frogley. What do you think about the whole game today, Ken? Well, Bud, I don't think it's quite as thrilling a game as I thought it was going to be, but it has its thrilling moments. We've had two blocked punts here so far, uh, both uh, blocked by Duke uh, on USC that were, uh, looked like they might provide a big thrill, but they didn't because nothing happened as a result of them. I think that uh, Mr. Tipton out here is, frankly, the whole Duke team. He's doing all the kicking. He's, uh, every time on a, every kick exchange, he's made about 15 or 20 yards for Duke. They've had USC well backed up on their haunches all afternoon. And neither team has been a scoring threat as yet. We hope in the second half that we may see a little more excitement. However, it's good, hard football. There's some beautiful runs being made here and there. Mansell accounted for a few in the first half. And Tipton in this first half on uh, what several of us thought were fake passes, then he would run with it. In other words, he'd start the pass and uh, find nobody in front of him and run. Now, we can't figure out whether he's doing that on whether that's a planned play or... Uh, whether it's just uh, an opportunity that the boy took and, and made yardage on it. McAfee just went into the game in the last part of the half and ran for 19 yards, and we expect to see more from him in the second half. Um, I think that uh, we have several more guests here in the studio, and I know you're going to want to hear from some of them. So I'm going to wish you a good afternoon and thank KMDR for this opportunity to say hello to you on behalf of the Daily News. Thank you, Ken Frogley. You've just listened to Ken Frogley, the editor, sports editor of the Los Angeles Daily News. And now, Ken Park. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to present to you over the microphone a man that I consider to be one of the outstanding sports personalities in the West, a man who started the University of Southern California Trojans on their road to national football prominence. For the last three years, he has coached and very successfully coached the Los Angeles Bulldogs and just recently has signed a contract to coach the Detroit Lions of the National Professional Football League. I know that you're all going to rejoice with me in Gus Henderson's good fortune and at the same time welcome into your homes gloomy Gus Henderson, formerly of USC, Tulsa, the Los Angeles Bulldogs, and now the Detroit Lions. Gus, how are you? Thanks, Ken. What do you want me to tell them? Something about this game? I'd like to have you just tell them what you think of the ball game. All right. <clears throat> well, I think... Um... It's a wonderful game. Uh, Duke has a marvelous defensive team. And I think USC have, haven't played up to par. I don't think they're playing near up to the ability they showed in the California Notre Dame game. But that may be attributed to the fact of Duke's wonderful defense. USC's passes have been very inaccurate. And Duke playing a kicking game, they're covering their kicks very well, and which has forced Lanzel to make many fair catches. And they've blocked two kicks already, and that was the greatest break of the game. The kick was blocked, and USC recovered on their own six-yard line, which it might have met the game. I, I enjoy more of a passing game. My only regret is I wish I could have seen Duke play, uh, not Duke, but TCU today, where this little O'Brien completed 18 out of 28 passes. I'd love to have seen them because I don't like a defensive game. But I imagine USC will snap out of it the second half and give them a great battle. Thank you. Thank you, Gus, very much. And ladies and gentlemen, as we told you, that's a man whose opinion we really revere with a great deal of respect, both in the radio and on the football field. Gloomy Gus Henderson, formerly coach of the Los Angeles Bulldog professional team, and now, next year, will handle the Detroit Lions of the National Professional League. Butter. Thanks, Ken. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here it is. The sun's breaking at last after sitting in the rain for a portion of the first half. 
which indeed is unusual for the California Rose Bowl. We witnessed the half performance, the halftime performance, as the Pasadena Junior College Band and the, and the Southern California Bands are out on the field. The sun breaking through presents an entirely different aspect to the second half. The color, the glamour that we expect from the Rose Bowl has been here today despite of the weather. We had sunshine this morning during the Rose Bowl parade, and then the first portion of the game brought on the drizzling rain in which all of the gorgeous gowns, the furs, and the usual traditional white colors of the Rose Bowl were prevalent, were somewhat dimmed and dampened by the rain that fell. We have the 150-piece Trojan Band under the direction of P.C. Kahn. The band was marching out on the field on the north goal line and two company trunks extending from sideline to sideline. Following the fanfare, the band moved down the field by the front rack doing a left to play. The march that they used was the Silver Jubilee. The band moves into a New Year's candle with the numeral 1939, while the traditional New Year's formation band will play America the Beautiful. They formed a huge smoke gets in your eyes, and then the pipe that they dragged out on the field here had tremendous rings come out of it. And now the Pasadena Junior College Band is going through the formations that we expected, and they're spelling out the name Duke. And you'd be amazed with the rapidity. While on their run, they run into a formation, and listen to the hand that Duke gets in the formation of their letters. If you notice below us, a siren has been blowing regularly. A couple of Duke rooters down here waving the panties that they brought along or in some way were tied in with Duke University. Instead of the usual pennants, these panties are being waved all over the place and a big cheer goes up from the crowd. And these two Duke uh, rooters right in front of us have been uh, ruining the general broadcast from all the booze up here because of the fact they've brought in a tremendous hand fire siren with them, and upon the least provocation, will blow this siren full blast. And now here's Ken Barton while the band plays America the Beautiful for another quick interview. Thank you, Bud. And now, ladies and gentlemen, to introduce another guest in our booth this afternoon, we present Frank Finch, sports writer of the Los Angeles Times. Frank, will you come in and give us your views of the ball game? Well, all I can say is that Wallace Wade was uh, kidding the newspaper boys when he let us in on the secret, on the alleged secret practice at uh, Brookside Park earlier in the week. Uh, we went over there, and we were not impressed at all with the, either the passing or the kicking of Tipton. Uh, we'd heard all about his prowess as a 60-yard punter, but he certainly didn't show it over there. And as far as the passing was concerned, I've seen a better passing in high school, but uh, evidently he was just putting on the act for the boys because this boy Tipton is all as advertised. He and Lansdale, in my opinion, have been the, really the only outstanding offensive stars of the game. Uh, and Duke, Duke's defense is all that it was said to be. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much, Frank Finch. Uh, now we take this opportunity to return the microphone to Bud Ernst. While Ken and the boys are getting the line up for the start of the second half, the teams are out on the field ready to, for the second half kickoff, and the junior college band is still on the field. As soon as they finish their performance, the play will start in the second half of this game. Still nothing to nothing score. It's anybody's ball game up to this point. The crowd is on their feet. Presenting a colorful side here in the afternoon sun, one complete side of the bowl is swathed in that traditional Southern California gold. Now here it is for Old Lang Syne, the end of the year, and the, the junior college boys are lined up with their with their pennants at the end of the field, spelling out everything, all the lyrics and the words to Old Lang Syne. As a new phrase comes up, the group of the boys hang up. They're pennants at the end of the field, and the public is trying to join in in the singing of the words. It's quite an effective stunt, and you can count on the junior college band to present something interesting each year. Let's listen to the band. California's kicking off. 
There's the kick. It's a beautiful high one. It's being taken down here by Sangster. I mean, I beg your pardon, by Spangler. Spangler takes the ball back up to the 24-yard line where he's knocked down hard by two Trojan linemen who've come in very fast. There goes Duke back into the huddle now. The line of scrimmage. First and ten. There's a pass from center. Tipped in his back in front formation. He gets away a beautiful kick. It's coming down. Back on the Trojan. 25-yard line is taken by Lanzo. Lanzo's up. Up to the 20. Up to the 24-yard line. First and ten for the Trojans on their own 24-yard line. Back into the huddle. Up the line of scrimmage. There's the shift. Lanzo is back. Takes the ball. And there he is fighting and pounding his way up until he finally makes it up to the 38-yard line. A beautiful run in there by Lanzo. Making another first down. First and ten for the Trojans on their own 38-yard line before Tipton brought him down. There's the shift. Lanzo is back. The ball goes to Lanzo. The old Trojan power play, but it failed that time. And Lanzo was dropped hard in there. Lanzo was dropped very hard in there by Eve and by Bailey just as he got to the 40-yard line. Second down, eight yards to go. The ball in possession of USC on their own 40-yard line. Here they come up. Line of scrimmage. Centers over the ball. There's the shift. Lanzo back. Lanzo's taking it. He's fading back for a pass. It's quite a little time. He shoots the pass out into the left. It was intended for Sangster, but Sangster couldn't get his hands on the ball, and it fell incomplete. Third down, eight yards to go for the Trojans. The ball still on their own 40-yard line. Back into the huddle to call signals. Lansdell taking his time as he comes up. He stops and looks over the Duke defense. Here they are up the line of scrimmage. Thanks to his back in front formation, third and eight. Lansdell is back. There's a pass from center. There's the kick. Tangler is taking the ball on his own 10-yard line. He's up to the 16-yard line, and there he stopped by Stecker, Gasper, and Winslow. He stopped in the 16, a 10-yard or a 6-yard return by Spangler. First and 10 for the Duke Blue Devils. He took that ball on the bounce on his own 10-yard line. Started to reverse his field, changed his mind, and came right up the field, up to the 16-yard line, where it is first and 10 for the Blue Devils of Duke. <laughs> Back in the huddle now. Here they come again. They come up the line of scrimmage very slowly, as though they're going to conserve their energy, taking their time about it. It's punt formation. Tipped in his back again. Standing back on his own 12, but there he starts. And instead of kicking, he crashes off his own right tackle and gets up to the 17-yard line. Up to the 17 before McNeil stops him. Up to the 17-yard line. Second down, nine yards to go. The ball on the Duke's 17-yard line. Here they come out of the huddle. Up to the line of scrimmage. Tipped in his back. It's going to be another punt formation. They're still running their plays out of that punt formation. Tipped in his back, waiting for the pass. As the pass from center, he is going to kick. He gets away a nice one. And Lansdell signals for a fair catch on his own 38-yard line. First and 10 for USC on their own 38-yard line. First and 10. Lanzo taking that ball, signaling for a fair catch. He's taking no chance on having these ends come down on him, and they come down very fast. Bailey and Purdue are very fast getting down under those punts. They're right there the minute they come in. Here come the Trojans up the line of scrimmage. There's the shift. It's the double shift. Lanzo is back. Taking the ball. He's fading way back. He's going to shoot a pass. He's throwing it at a full run. Oh, he threw that. It was intended for Hoffman. Threw it as a full run as he was being faced by three Duke men. Hill was right there beside Hoffman, however, and the pass went incomplete. Second down. Ten yards to go for the Trojans on their own 38-yard line. Pass was incomplete. Looked for a moment as though Lansdell was going to be trapped. He started, ran clear around as though he were going to start out around his own right end, finally throwing to Hoffman at a dead run, but the ball fell incomplete. Are they off the line of scrimmage? There's the shift. Lancel is back. 
Fades back for many rifles a pass out there. It was intended for Jones. It, it, intended for Jones. But he couldn't get his hands on it. He got one fingertip on it. It was a very fast play. Lansdell taking the ball, fading just momentarily, then rifling that ball out to Hoffman, but it, to Jones, but it was high, just tipping his fingers and rolled incomplete. Third down, 10 yards to go yet. Third and 10, the ball in the Trojan possession on their own 38-yard line. No score in this ball game as we go into the third quarter. There's the shift. Lansdell is back. Taking the ball, he's fading back. He's going to pass again. He rifled that one over, and it was complete to Hoffman. It was complete to Hoffman, but it was good for only two yards. Right to the 40-yard line, Eves dropping Hoffman hard right on the 40-yard line. Fourth down and eight yards to go. Fourth and eight, the ball in possession of the Trojans on their own 40-yard line. That pass finally clicking from Lansdell to Hoffman, but only good for two yards. Lansdell is back in front formation. Bangler playing safety. There's the pass from center. There's Lansdell's kick. It's a very high one. Bangler is going to take it. No. He let it drop. He let it drop. Now, just a moment. We don't know whether he touched that ball or not. This is going to be a very tense decision. The ball dropped, bounced over almost to the Duke goal line. Was rolling there for just a minute when a Trojan dove for it and carried it across the goal line. So they rule it was not touched by Spangler. First and ten, first and ten for the Duke Blue Devils. On their own 20-yard line, moving that ball out, it rolled around there right on the goal line. A Trojan coming up very fast. I believe it was Fisk coming up very fast, dove at that ball. He thought that Spangler had touched it, that it was a free ball, and carried it across the goal line. However, they ruled it a touchback. There is first and ten for the Duke Blue Devils on their own 20-yard line. First and ten. First and ten for Duke on their own 20-yard line. First and ten, there's Tipton back as they come out of the huddle. Back in punt formation. The ball instead goes to O'Mara. O'Mara on a cross buck goes over right guard. Battles his way up to the 25-yard line before he drops in there by McNeil and Smith. Uh-oh, there's a penalty on this play, though, it looks. Backfield in motion, a five-yard penalty against Duke. Making it first down, 15 yards to go. The ball in their possession on their own 15-yard line. First and 15, backfield in motion. That's the second such penalty that's been called against Duke this afternoon. The backfield started to move just a little bit too soon. O'Mara taking the ball on a cross buck and making five yards, but the backfield in motion nullified that game. Tipton is back now in front formation, standing on his own five-yard line. He looks like he's going to start to kick. He fakes it and slips and falls as he starts. He gets back up to the 10-yard line and slips and falls right on the 10-yard line before he could be tackled. Slip, fell to the ground, and there it is second down. Second down, 20 yards to go. George was right in there to cover him, but he, there was no need of it at, at all. Tipton starting to fake a kick, then trying to run with the ball. Come out around his own left end, stumbled, slipped, and fell. Second down, 20 yards to go. The ball in possession of Duke on their own 10-yard line. Tipton is now back in front formation, standing right on the goal line. Lansdell playing safety, standing right in the middle, mid-stripe field in the center of the field. There, what a play that was. Tipton took that ball, started to kick, but he couldn't quite make up his mind whether to get, away, get it away or not. He was behind the goal line. He started to run with it. He was being followed by Trojans. He tossed the ball on a pass, which was complete, to Spangler. But Spangler was hit very hard and was dropped. Spangler was dropped right on the 10-yard on the 10-yard line, and there was no gain. Third down, 20 yards to go. Fisk was right there to grab Spangler. It looked for a moment as though Tipton was going to be caught behind his own goal line. These passes from center are not coming back very well for a kicker of Tipton's ability. There he is in punt formation again. 
the pass from center. There's a kick, and what a beautiful kick is being taken by Lansdell on the 50-yard line. He's up to the, across the center of the field, up to the 40-yard line, and he's finally swarmed upon by three or four Duke players. Those ends down there very fast. Lansdell was brought down right on the 40-yard line, but hold it. It looks for a moment as though there may be a penalty on this play. Roughing the kicker, a penalty against USC for roughing the kicker. First down. First down and a five yard penalty against USC for roughing the kicker. That puts the ball on Duke's 15 yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. First and 10, a new lease on life. Trojans rushing in there, trying desperately to block Tipton's kick. Seemed to have roughed him up a little, the referee ruling it, roughing the kicker. That puts the ball on Duke's 15-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. First and 10, a new lease on life. The Trojans rushing in there, trying desperately to block Tipton's kick. Seemed to have roughed him up a little, the referee ruling it, roughing the kicker. They stepped him back in front formation. First down, 10 yards to go. The ball in possession of Duke on their own 16-yard line. There's the pass from center. There's the kick again. Coming back, he's almost kicked over Lansdell's head. Lansdell takes it back. He's on 35-yard line. He's up to 40, the 45, the 50, and he's run out of bounds right close to the 50-yard line. We'll see where the referee rules that he was run out of bounds by O'Mara. Putting the ball down on the Trojan 49-yard line. Lansdell almost had that kick over his head. Almost had that kick go over his head. He caught it going backwards almost on his own 35. Run it back up to the Duke 49-yard line where it is first and 10. He was forced out of bounds in there by Spangler and O'Mara. And O'Mara. Out of the huddle up the line of scrimmage come the Trojans. Oh, what a play that was. Lansdell taking the ball from the up-back position. Tried to fake a reverse and then... A cross buck, but he was stopped behind the line of trap, line of scrimmage by Maloney. Maloney breaking through, diagnosing that play and dropping it behind the line of the scrimmage back to the Trojan 48-yard line. They come up the line of scrimmage now. Trojan ball, Lansdell is back on the shift. He's fading back to pass. Running, he's throwing a flat pass out to the right, and it is complete to Hoffman. A flat pass up to Hoffman, where he is dropped very hard. Hoffman is dropped by Eves, just as he caught that pass, a flat pass up to the right, carrying the ball up to the 47-yard line, up to the Trojans' 47-yard line, where it is now third down and eight yards to go. Southern California is taking time out after having successfully completed that pass, although it still leaves them with third down, and eight yards to go. The ball in their possession in Duke on Duke's 47-yard line. Times declared in. Trojan called their signals out of the huddle up the line of scrimmage. There's the shift. Lansdell is back. Ball goes to Jones on a reverse. He's going wide around his own left end, and he's caught from behind as he gets up to the 44-yard line. He's caught from behind in there by Alabaster and Haas on the 44-yard line. Fourth down, five yards to go. Fourth and five for the Trojans. The ball in their possession on the Duke 44-yard line. It's punt formation. Lansdell is back. Spangler playing safety for Duke. Standing on his own 10-yard line. Lansdell will kick from his own 45. There's the pass from center. There's the kick. It's a very high kick, very short. Coming down and bouncing back towards USC's goal line and is down on the Duke... 31-yard line by Ray George. Ray George, right tackle, jumped high in the air as that ball was bounding back toward the USC goal line and downed it on the Duke 31-yard line. First and 10 for the Duke Blue Devils on their own 31-yard line. Here they come out of the huddle, up the line of scrimmage. They're coming up very slowly, very deliberately. Single wing back to the right. Tipton and Spangler are back. Taking their time, lots of time here. 
There's a pass from center. It's a fake reverse. The ball going to O'Mara. O'Mara trying on a cross buck and a fake off a fake reverse. Tries to get between his guard, right guard and right tackle, but is stopped in there by Smith. He's no gain at all in the play. Second down, 10 yards to go. The ball still in possession of the Duke Blue Devils on their own 31-yard line. Back into the huddle. Very hard for these power drives to succeed, as it is even for a fast runner cutting back and forth. The field, the turf on it is very thin, it's slippery, and the cleats aren't taking hold as they might. Single wing back to the right, tipped in his back. Fading back, he's going to shoot a pass. There's a long one. Out there, and it was almost complete. It was intended for Spangler. It looked as though he had the one-step advantage on Jones there. Jones was covering him all the way, but Spangler had one or two steps ahead of him. But Jones, at the last moment, just as the ball got there, jumped high in the air and batted it out over the sideline. Incomplete third down, 10 yards to go for the Duke Blue Devils on their own 31-yard line. Taking a long time for the Spangler to get back into the huddle. He was way down the field. It was batted out on the Trojan 40-yard line. And if it had been complete, if he could have hung on to that ball, he'd have been off to the races. Out of the huddle, here they come, up the line of scrimmage. Tipton is back in front formation. Taking a lot of time, getting this ball ready. There's the pass from center. There's a kick, and it's blocked again! It's blocked again! Let's see who, how it was recovered in there. Oh, how these Trojan linemen are charging in there and blocking punch. Donnelly was in there. Donnelly went bounding in there and caught it right on his chest. Ball was recovered by Duke there. Donnelly coming in very fast. Now then, here it is. Fourth down, 21 yards to go. The ball finally being put into play. The Duke 21-yard line. Two safety men are back there. Jones and Lansdell. That's Tipton getting ready to kick again. Taking the ball from center. There's the kick. He gets it away this time. Jones takes it. Here he comes up the field. He's down for a moment, then he's up. And then he's finally piled on by half the Duke team. On the 48-yard line, on the Duke 48-yard line, he took that ball on his own 44, ran it up to the Duke 48 before he was downed. First by one tackler. Alabaster was there to down him first. He shook loose for just a moment, and half the Duke team fouled on him. What a mix-up of players there were. First and ten for the Trojans. The ball on the Duke 48-yard line in their possession. Here they are back in the huddle up the line of scrimmage. They come with a lot of snap and drive. There's the double shift, single wing back over to the right. Lansdell is back. There it is. Over tackle. The old power play. He's away for a minute. Takes off three tacklers and gets up to the 36 yard line before finally Bangler and O'Mara collaborate to shake him down. A nice run in there by Johnny Lansdell. Shooting off tackle. Hole opening up wide for him. He took off two tacklers and finally. Being brought down after a 12-yard gain. First and 10 for the Trojans. The ball on the Duke 36-yard line. Here they come. Out of the huddle up the line of scrimmage. That is again. Single went back up the right. Lancel is back. But the ball instead is given on a reverse to Sangster. Goes from Jones to Sangster. And Sangster is stopped way behind the line of scrimmage. Back on the 40-yard line by Haas. Haas uh, drops him behind the line of scrimmage. Way back on the 40-yard line where it is now second down and 14 yards to go. Second and 14 for SC on the failure of that reverse. A loss there of four yards. Here they come up the line of scrimmage again. The first shift, there's the second shift. It's a single wing back over to the right. Hansel is back, he's gonna shoot a fast one. There's a rifling pass, it is intercepted. It looks as though Duke were away. Against him and is, and he's knocked out of bounds. Hill. Hill intercepted that pass. It was a rifle-like pass intended from Lanzo out to Hoffman. That pass again intercepted by Hill. Well, Captain Hill, the center of the Duke University team. He did a tightrope dance up the sideline until he was finally knocked out of bounds on the Trojan 45-yard line. It looked for a moment as though that big center was going to be able to get away and outrun the entire Trojan team. 
Oh, how that boy started moving down there. If his helmet had been off, his red hair would have been looked like a lightning bug in full flight because he was really picking them up and setting them down, but he was finally knocked out of bounds by Jones. Knocked out of bounds on the, 40, on the Trojan 45-yard line where it is first and 10 for the Duke University. Duke substitutions during the timeout period included McAfee going in for Spangler at the halfback and Davis replacing Eves at left hand. Darnell went in in place of Bailey at right end. Rybar replaced Maloney at left back. First and ten for the Duke Blue Devils. The ball in their possession on the Trojan 45-yard line. There's a pass from center. It's a reverse. The ball going to McAfee. McAfee's going wide around his own right end, but he's spilled out there just as he gets to the line of scrimmage. No gain at all. A reverse that time. From Tipton to McAfee. McAfee starting out around his own right hand, being dropped right at the line of scrimmage. Thirty second and ten with no gain. George was in there and dropped him very hard with the shoestring tackle that Howard Jones has been stressing in this last week of practice. What's the they are waiting for the signal. So the single wing back to the right. Tipton is back. He's going to fade. There's a pass. <laughs> Tipton to Purdue. Purdue was hit in there by McNeil just as he caught that pass. He was hit so hard right around the middle, the ball jerked out of his hands. The bouncing high in the air. Hoffman grabbing the ball, running up the field. His interference formed very quickly, but he was finally brought down on his own 34-yard line. First and 10 for the Trojans on their own 34-yard line. This game is really beginning to open up in the second half now. Both teams are digging in there and fighting hard, taking a few chances, too. Out of the huddle, up the line of scrimmage. Single wing back over to the left. Lands up with the ball. He's fading back. He's going to pass. He's right, but he throws one out in the flat to the right. It's complete. But it's behind the line of scrimmage. Complete behind the line of scrimmage to Seinster. And Seinster is dropped right in his sack as he gets his hands on that ball. Back on the 33-yard line. A loss of a yard on that play. Second down and 11 yards to go for the Trojans. The ball on their own 33-yard line. Hill came in there very fast and nabbed Sangster, throwing him back for that loss. Second down, 11 yards to go. There goes Lanzo back to pass again. He has a lot of time. He does out there, but it's way too far. Going incomplete. It was intended for Jones. Jones couldn't possibly get his hands on it. He was covered all the way by McAfee right up to the sideline with a long looping pass. Incomplete. Third down. Comes this Duke substitution in there. As a matter of fact, we're going to have two or three Duke substitutions. Um, time is going to be taken out during these substitutions. This has been quite a ball game so far. We'll have these substitutions for you. No, they're not going to take time out at all. The Trojans are coming right up to the line of scrimmage. There's Lanzo back in front formation. There's the pass from center. There's the kick. The long low one, come down, it's taken back here by McAfee. McAfee's fighting his way up and he's across the 50 yard line. He's across the 50 yard line into Georgia territory before he's finally brought down by George and Tonali. A very nice run back at that low kick. McAfee taking the ball back on his own 35 or 36 yard line and running it back up to the Trojan 48 before he's dropped down. First and 10 for Duke on SC's 48-yard line now. The Duke Blue Devils are back in the huddle. Here they come up the line of scrimmage. It's going to be a single wing back formation to the right. Tipton is back. Here for the pass from center. There it comes. It's given to Tipton on a fake reverse. And Tipton, trying to go off right tackle, is dropped right at the line of scrimmage by Fisk. Fisk in there, dropped him right at the line of scrimmage, 
There is no gain on the on the play at all. Second down, 10 yards. The ball's still in possession of Duke University on SC's 48-yard line. Duke taking a lot of time in the huddle. Here they come. Up over the ball. Burns, who is in at center in place of co-captain Hill, over the ball. Single wing back to the right. Dipped in his back. Ready for that pass from center. There it comes. Dipton takes the ball. He's going to shoot a pass. And it's complete. It's complete. Dipton's pass. Dipton's pass to McAfee was complete. A beautiful pass down there. Just as McAfee caught it, he was run out of bounds. He was run out of bounds on FC's 25-yard line. First and 10. First down, 10 yards to go on the completion of that beautiful pass from Tipton to McAfee over along the east sideline. First down, 10 yards to go for the Duke Blue Devils. The ball in their possession on Southern California's 25-yard line. Here they come up to the line of scrimmage now. It looks as though they're going to try and keep that momentum that they have up. The single wing back to the left this time. Tipton and McAfee are back. Waiting for that pass from center. They're down, charging position. Here comes the pass from center. And it's taken by Robinson. Robinson playing in up back position. Takes that ball and dove on a cross buck over his own left guard, getting up to the 18-yard line before he was stopped hard. He was stopped hard in there on the 18-yard line as he took the ball from his up back position, dove on a cross buck over his own left guard. And now time is taken out for just a moment by Duke University. Group from the guard, that's we place Winterson for Duke University. First down, 10 yards to go as Duke continues its downfield drive. Here they come out of the huddle up the line of scrimmage. They go wing back to the left. Tipton back. That's a pass from center. Tipton trying hard to crash off left tackle and is stopped there as the whole left right side of that SC line rolls up to greet him. He drove in hard, but there was no gain on the play at all. And there is the gun ending the end of the third quarter, and here come a whole host of new, fresh Trojan players in. No score in the ball game as yet. McNeil hurt his shoulder on that last play. Replacements for Duke in the backfield. Bangler in for Max Cassie, Amara in for Robinson, and Eve in for Davis. Tipton is still in there. It looks as though he's going to have to be a 60-minute player because so far he has been the difference between defeat and being right on the verge of victory as Duke is at the present moment. Third down, three yards to go. The ball in possession of Duke on USC 17-yard line. Single wing back to the right. There's the ball, but it snapped, and instead of going to Tipton, who was back, it went to O'Mara, the fullback. O'Mara drove hard into the center of the line and picked up two yards, taking the ball up to the 15-yard line where it's fourth down and one yard to go. Fourth and one for Duke. The ball resting right squarely on Southern California's 15-yard line as SC dig in their cleats to make a determined defense. Now what is going to happen, the ball is directly a midfield. It looks as though they might try a place kick here. Three points in a scoreless ball game so far as we start the fourth quarter. That's just exactly what they're going to do. Rupa will attempt this play kick. O'Mara is holding the ball. They're kicking from the 23-yard line. There's the attempt. There's the kick. And it is good. It is good. The score is three to nothing. Listen to this crowd roar. The Blue Devils of Duke University from the south, coached by Wallace Wade, move out into the front by a score of three to nothing in this ball game in the fourth quarter after three periods battling Lucas back and forth almost in the middle of the field all of the time. What a ball game this is. Rupa, a tackle, pulled back out of the line. O'Mara, the pullback, bent over, held the ball, and the kick split, split the goal post right squarely. Three to nothing is the margin by which Duke leads Southern California in this annual Rose Bowl Classic. And those three points right at the present moment look as big as a house. Rupa will kick off. And across the field, the 
the Danielle leaders are giving it all they have. There's the kickoff. Roof is booting it. The high one. Coming down, being taken by... by Anderson. He took the ball on the five-yard line. Dodge, duck, and made his way up to the 17-yard line before he was brought down hard. And what I mean, he was really brought down hard that time. His teammates now are helping him up to his feet. He's all right. He shakes himself just a little bit. First and ten for Southern California. He takes that ball up to the 23-yard line. First down, ten yards to go. Time is being taken out. Anderson, I believe, was hurt on that play. The trainers come out to take a look at him, and time has been taken out for that purpose. Meanwhile, Duke takes advantage of all opportunities to gather around in the huddle, around their water bucket, and a few moments rest with themselves. First and ten, it's time declared in. Sorkins in possession of the ball on their own 28-yard line as they trail in this ball game three to nothing, and that three to nothing can placed directly to the kicking toe of Eric the Red Tipton and to Rufus the tackle who kicked that goal. Here come the Trojans out of the huddle up the line of scrimmage. Anderson is back. at the pass from center. And he tries to cut off right tackle and he's smeared. He's smeared by the entire left side of the Duke line and dropped back to the 25-yard line. A loss of three yards. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ryber was in there and dropped him. Dropped him very hard as Anderson tried to break away, use that sweet speed, those sweet feet of his, and really get moving off right back. As the ship, Anderson is back. Ball goes to Anderson. He fakes the reverse. He's fading back to pass. He's shooting it out here. And, oh, it looks as though it were going to be complete. It was intended for Jones. Jones was the man who faked that reverse, but he was covered all the way across there by... Eves, Eves was right beside him as he ran up the field and the ball dropped incomplete. Third down for the Trojans. They trail in this ball game now by a score of three to nothing. And I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that this game is being played very, very cleanly. And marred by only a few penalties. Oh, that was almost an offside. The ball was held, then snapped. Anderson has it. He's trying to get away to throw pass. Johnson broke through there and speared him way behind the line of scrimmage, but I believe that they'll rule both teams offside, or Duke offside and USC backfield in motion. It's a very funny play. Duke thought the ball was going to be snapped, half their line charged, and at the same time, half the Trojan line started to move. But the center held the ball, the Duke men jumped back, but the backfield of the Trojans was already in motion, and the play finally started. When it did, Anderson was trapped way behind the line of scrimmage. Way back up to the 21-yard line, 22-yard line before he was brought down in there very hard by Fisher. That was a very, very, very nice kick by Day. Kicking over Spangler's head. Spangler touching the ball once as he tried to catch going over his head and picking it up finally and battling his way back up to the 22-yard line where it is first and 10 for the Duke Bowl. Blue double. A 50-yard blue double. A 50-yard kick there by Day. Tipton is back now in punt formation as the ball. But he's not going to kick, he tries to go over left tackle, and he stops a yard or two behind the line of scrimmage as he tries to cut off right tackle. He was stopped in there and stopped hard by the left side of the Trojan line. Second down, 11 yards to go. The ball on the Duke, 21-yard line. Tipton is going back into punt formation. Duke is over the ball now, waiting for that pass from center. Sitting down in charging position, there goes the pass from center, there is the kick, and Tipton didn't get off a good one at all, it came off the toe of his boot. Taken by Day, Day momentarily fumbled it on the 40-yard line, got his hands on it just when it looked as though he were going to have to let go of it, and was finally dropped on the 43-yard line. 
He was dropped by O'Mara. It looked for a moment as though Dave was going to fumble that low kick, which was bouncing around. It almost got away from him. Dave reached back and caught it just with his fingertips, and then gathering it in, managed to pick up another three yards before he was stopped. First and ten for Southern California. They're in possession of the ball on their own 43-yard line. Time is being taken out now, and both teams have gathered around their respective waterfront. Come the Trojans out of the huddle up the line of scrimmage. There's a pass from center, and it goes to Santa. Santa was playing in the up back. He takes the reverse and starts on the spinner to go over the line, but Hill stopped him head on right there with a loss of a yard. Second down, 11 yards to go. The ball on the Southern California 41 yard line. Second and 11. Here come the Trojans out of the huddle up the line of scrimmage. There's the shift. They can wing back to the right. Ball goes down to the day. He's starting out around right end. He's running very fast. His interference is folded. And he's forced out of bounds just as he gets to the line of scrimmage. Forced out in there by Hill and uh, by Darnell. No, he was lost one yard on the play rather than being forced out right at the line of scrimmage. He lost the yard, making it third down and 12 yards to go. Third and 12 for SC. Ball in their possession on their own. 40-yard line. Here they are back in the huddle, coming up the line of scrimmage. Front formation with Ollie Day back. Spangler playing safety. There's the kick, and oh, what a beautiful kick it is. Again, he kicks over Spangler's head, but the ball, the ball just barely misses Coffin's corner. He was kicking for it. What a beautiful kick that was. A long kick bouncing around on the five-yard line and finally rolling out of bound, or rolling over the goal line, rather, just a few feet before it hit that coffin corner, just those precious few feet that would have meant so much. Now, first and ten for Duke, the ball coming out in their possession of their own 20-yard line. That kick of days was 60 yards on the roll. As a matter of fact, I don't believe this boy Oliver Day has to take his hat off to Tipton or anyone else the way he's kicking today. Duke Blue Devils in possession of the ball on their own 20-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Tipton is back. The ball goes to the up back, who is O'Mara. O'Mara tries a cross buck over right guard and is stopped with a gain of a yard. Pick up a yard on that play. McNeil, Sonelli, Jasper were all in there on the tackle. Second down, nine yards to go. The ball in possession of the Duke Blue Devils on their own 21-yard line. They lead in this ball game, three to nothing, as we're now in the fourth quarter. The line of scrimmage, they come again. Still tipped in his back. He is the big threat that you have in this ball game. There's a pass from center. He's going to kick. He gets away a long kick. Day is taking it, and he tried to take that just as those two ends came down. There was no signaling for a fair catch for him. There were three Duke players there, Alabaster, Bailey, and Darnell, all right there. He took the ball, tried to paint them out of position and start. But Alabaster caught him by one foot and dropped him right in his track. The ball resting on the USC 43-yard line. As they come out of the huddle up the line of scrimmage, there's the shift. It's Day back. Day taking the ball. He's starting out around right end, starting way back. He's going to pass. He's fading back, taking his time. It's a long one down there, and it is almost complete, but knocked down. He was covered all the way by... It was intended for Jones, and he was covered all the way by Tipton. That was. He's gotten away with that one. He's been way out in the clear. Second down, 10 yards to go for the Trojans. The ball in their own possession on their own 43-yard line. And they are back in the huddle now. Day coming out of the huddle first. Up the line of scrimmage. Day is going to be back. Single wing back to the right. The ball is snapped. Day takes it. He's hitting right tackle very hard. And he's hit hard in there. And stopped up. He picked up two yards. Day was hit very hard in there by Darnell, Maloney, and Johnson. And stopped up. He picked up two yards. Third down, eight yards to go. All of the possession of the Trojans on their own 45-yard line. Back in the huddle, they're taking a lot of time to talk it over here. Out of the huddle, up the line of scrimmage they come. Again, single wing back to right. Day is back. There's the pass from center. Day is fading way back. He's going way, way back. Don't make his way to make clear. And 
there goes the fire. There's a long one down this stone breaker, stone breaker. Catches it on the Duke 40 yard line. Oh, what a beautiful play that was. He caught it right on the edge of the sideline. And when he caught it, he knocked Field Judge Bagley right down under the Georgian bench. Oh, wait a minute. There's a signal from the official. The referee's ruling the ball was caught out of bounds. So the pass is NG and it goes back. Oh, that was too bad. What a beautiful play that was. Dave fading way back and throwing that ball down to Stonebreaker. Stonebreaker getting away, getting that one step on his defensive man, jumping high into the air, and as he came down right on the sideline, he bounced into Bagley, the field judge, and it was just too bad. Down under the Trojan bench, they both went. Now the Trojans are taking time out. We're going to talk about this and see what they can do to nullify that decision. I wonder if we can pick up a little of that Trojan band music over there. I see they're just starting to play. Well, that's too bad. It's too bad. 
motions. Our friend being penalized this time five yards for taking too many times on. Five yards, which will be fourth down and 15 yards for a touchdown. Out of the huddle now, time has been declared in. The whistle is blown. Up to the line of scrimmage they come, and they're going to attempt the field goal. The ball is right in the center of the field, and here goes the chance for a field goal. Gasper is going to try to kick it. Lanzo will hold it. Let's see. They're going to kick right from the 24-yard line. The deal is over the ball. Lanzo is down, voicing his fingers, getting all set. He signals for the pass. There comes the ball back from center. The ball goes down. Gasper tries his kick, but the kick is wide and no good. The kick is no good, and the ball goes into Duke's possession on its own 20-yard line. First and ten for Duke on their own 20-yard line, having successfully saved off that touchdown threat of the Trojans. Out of the huddle up the line of scrimmage come the Duke Blue Devils, and how they come up there with a lot of snap and fight. Single wing back over to the left. O'Mara is back. The ball is snapped. O'Mara takes the ball. He's trying over left guard. He's fighting very hard, kicking and fighting his way through there, but he picks up only two yards. In there were George and Stanley, and they stopped him very hard and very fast. Second down and eight yards to go. For the Duke Blue Devils, the ball in their own possession on their 22-yard line. Here they are in the huddle again. Out of the huddle. Oh, what a lot of snap these boys have as they come up to the line of scrimmage. It's punt formation. Tipton is back. And there's the pass in center. There goes the kick from Tipton. And what a beautiful kick that boy got off. Way high, twisting foul. It's going down to land those, those two ends. Darnell Maloney and Half uh, and Purdue. All of them are down there. And it's... Lanzo is signal for a fair catch. Lanzo takes that ball on the Trojan 39-yard line. A very nice kick in there by Tipton. And how those ends and tackles got down under that ball. There wasn't anything that uh, Lanzo could do but stick his right hand high in the air and take that ball on a fair catch. Trojans ball in their own possession. First down, 10 yards to go on their 39-yard line. The flex this game has changed a great deal. A few moments ago, the Trojans were hammering right at the Duke Blue Devils' gate. And right in touchdown territory. It looked as though they were going to strike pay dirt. And here they are again back in midfield, a little bit beyond midfield in their own territory. Out of line to huddle up the line up the line of scrimmage. It's Lanzo back. And the ball is up. He picked up five yards over right tackle. How high he hit that line. He literally propelled himself to the air like a bullet, hit that line and exploded right on through until he was finally dropped in there by half and York. Second down at five yards to go for the Trojans. The ball in their possession on their 44-yard line. Here they are in the huddle again. Now they're coming out of the huddle up the line of scrimmage. It's Peoples back this time. Ball is snapped. Peoples taking the ball. He's starting wide around his left end. He's running laterally with the line of scrimmage. His interference is holding up. He cuts sharply in, and there he's hit very hard in there by Purdue. He was dropped with a gain of only a yard. People picked up only a yard on that wide end run, trying to skirt his own left end. Third down, four yards to go. The ball in the Trojans' possession on their own 45-yard line. Here they are back in the huddle, talking it over now. Out of the huddle, up the line of scrimmage. Lanzo taking the ball, and oh, how he's moving in there. He's running wide around his left end again, going very wide and back. Now he's cut in very sharply, and loose one tackler. Interference mows down another, and he picks it up until he's dropped hard on the Duke 48 yard line by Eve. Eve, the left halfback, finally came in there and stopped Lanzo on Duke 48 yard line. What a beautiful run that was. Seven yards he picked up, and the first down. Just four minutes left to play in this ball game, and here is the score three to nothing in favor of the Duke Blue Devils. The ball in the possession of the Trojans, first and ten on the Duke 48 yard line. Duke now has taken time out. Duke is taking time out to see what they can do to stop this fight by the Trojans. And the Trojans are still in there fighting. Just listen to that band come through with the old Trojan fight song. Again, and we're ready to play ball. Trojans are back in the huddle. 
Ball in their possession. First down, 10 yards to go on Duke's 48-yard line. They're trailing in this ball game by a 3 to nothing score. You remember that Duke scored a field goal. All right, out of the huddle up the line of scrimmage. Single wing back to the left. Lanzel is back. The ball is snapped. Lanzel is swinging wide around left end again. He's cracking at his heart. He's cutting in very sharply now behind beautiful interference. And he dives and fights his way up until he gets to the 43-yard line where he's dropped in there by Tipton and O'Mara. Tipton and O'Mara came running over there very fast and finally stopped Lanzel after he picked up five yards. It's second down, five yards to go for the Trojans on their own for, on the Duke 43-yard line. Here they are. Back in the line of, out of the huddle, up the line of scrimmage again. As the ball snaps, it's going to Lanzo, but here comes Kruger. It's an end around. He's going wide now, cutting in sharply, and he picked up two yards. It's third down and three yards to go. Third and three for the Trojans. They're in possession of the ball on the Duke Blue Devils' 42-yard line. Back in the huddle again. Now up the line of scrimmage, very fast. They're moving fast now, trying to keep his pace. Single wing back to the left. Lanzo is back. The ball is snapped. Lancel has it, he's fading way back, and there goes a long pass, it's a beautiful pass to Bob People and People jumping high in the air, makes that ball, and he's dropped hard on the Duke 34-yard line by Spangler and Tipton, but he hung on to that ball, and it's first down and 10 yards to go for the Trojans on the Duke 34-yard line. time to even run one or two plays in this ball game. The score, as we've told you, University of Southern California 7, Duke University 3. Duke is lined up. 
Ready for the pass for set from center. There it goes. It's going back to Tipton. And Tipton is scared behind the line of scrimmage. He's trapped back there and really rolled all over the place. The ball going back to the 27-yard line. Winslow, Winslow, who replaced Kruger in there, came in and really grabbed him. It was a neck tackle, flipped him head over heels, and it was quite a loss in there. Tipton was trapped completely. He had no chance at all to get rid of that ball. Troy, having won those precious seven points, having garnered them in, are now going to fight desperately to keep them. Fifteen seconds left in this ball game. And are they battling and getting ready for it? Southern California all hopped up, ready to fight. Duke taking the time in the huddle. And the Southern California rooting section at every opportunity is doubting their head. Here they are, Duke University up the line of scrimmage. Tipton is back. There's a pass from center. He's fading back to pass. And he rifles one out there, which is incomplete. It was intended for Marion. It was intended for Marion. But no deal. No deal at all. It was completely down on the ground before Marion had any chance at all to get there. Third down, 22 yards to go. We look at the clock, it seems it's moving slower and slower. There's very little time left in this game. Duke trying desperately. The air is going to be really filled with football. Seven to three is the score in favor of the Trojans from USC. As the tip is single wing back to the right. The ball goes to Tipton. He's slipping one out here, and it is good to his receiver. McAfee, but as McAfee caught it, he slipped and fell. McAfee slipped and fell just as he caught that pass. It was beautifully executed. As he caught it, his feet went out from under him on this slippery turf, and he measured his full length. Fourth down now. Fourth down. Ten yards to go. Now there's 15. Duke was penalized five yards for too many timeouts. Here comes Duke up the line of scrimmage. Tipton is back. Single wing back to the left. Heading for this pass from center. There it comes. Tipton is back. He's taking his time. He floats one out there, and it is complete. It is complete. The and there is the end of this ball game. The end of the ball game, and the final score, ladies and gentlemen, University of Southern California Trojans 7, Duke University 3. And so the University of Southern California, their fighting Trojans, have kept their record of Rose Bowl appearances clean and have won this game. 7 to 3, and this Trojan mob is mad. They're tearing the goalposts down at both ends of the field. The teams are rushing out in the center of the field. All oh, the substitutes. I wish that you could see this undescribable scene of pandemonium as it rains here in the Rose Bowl. Both sides of the, ro of the uh, goalposts are torn down. There's a mob of people out there. Both of them are down now completely. Flashlights are popping as the darkness goes down here, and photographers are getting the best pictures that they possibly can. Everybody is yelling and screaming, and what a ball game this has been. Henry, what has been your reaction to it? Ken, this is, I can't say a word, really. This is one of those storybook ball games. You read about it in John Brown of Harvard and the Rover Boys and things like that. A last-minute victory. Actually, there was but one minute to play when... USC culminated their touchdown drive on a pass from Doyle Nave to Al Kruger. And I might note, Ken, that the USC boys, all the members of the team, accompanied by many of the spectators in the stands who filed out on the field, grabbed young Doyle Nave, hoisted him high on their shoulders, and in that manner, carrying him out of this historic Rose Bowl. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. The University of Southern California, Howard jo Harding Jones's boys, keeping their record clean by winning their, is it their fourth? Yes. Their fifth or fourth? Their fifth consecutive Rose Bowl game. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is impossible to give you a word picture of just how those Trojans marched down that field. At the present time, thousands upon thousands are standing here in these stands while 
Many thousands more mill about on the field below. And now there's the USC band playing Old Lang Syne and their alma mater song. So take it away from the music. Well, we see that our pickup is none too good in as much as the band is far off in the northeast corner of the Rose Bowl. Ladies and gentlemen, in singling out various players on both teams, it is difficult to do exactly that. However, for the defeated club, the Iron Dukes or Blue Devils of Duke University from Durham, North Carolina, the one standout man was Eric the Red Tipton, their running half or right half back, whose toe, his excellent punting, kept Duke in that ball game for a better part of four quarters. However, despite his excellent play and that of uh, various other players and teammates, he was unable to withstand the power and drive and the lightning-like passing attack unleashed by Doyle May when he was inserted into the Trojan lineup late in the fourth quarter. We might recapitulate the scoring briefly as it went along. As you all know, the Dukes and the Trojans battled it out scoreless here on the green sward of the Rose Bowl, which, by the way, is just a little damp, making the ball rather slippery and hard to handle and making it impossible for fast backs to cut back on those short line plunges. However, early in the fourth period, the Duke drove down to within the 15-yard line of the Trojans, at which point Rufa, a substitute guard or tackle, came in and replaced Bill Haas, and he then stepped back, and with McAfee holding the ball, he footed it between the uprights for three points, a field goal, and sent the Dukes out in front. However, not to be dismayed, Howard Jones looked down the lengthy bench of substitutes, and he singled out a young fellow who thus far this season has not featured a great deal in the Trojans' victory. However, he has long been reputed to be the best passer on the team. The gentleman I refer to is young Doyle Nave, formerly of Manual Arts. And with a great big crimson 40 on his white jersey, he strode out on the field and immediately started to call his signals. That being for himself to pass to Al Kruger, the flashy sophomore end who has stolen the play from all other Trojan wingmen. On four passes, Nave, the combination of Nave and Kruger and company, drove downfield almost a total of 50 yards. On a series of two passes, Doyle Nave fading deep behind his own scrimmage line, tossing him to Kruger, who in turn climbed up in the air as though he were walking up a step ladder, ignoring the secondary uh, men of Duke University, snacking, snagging those passes and driving down to the 16-yard line. Then, with fourth down and things rather desperate, uh, Doyle Nave faded back and seemingly did the impossible when he managed to wing a pass of some 16 or 17 yards down to Al Kruger, who had fainted all of the Duke men and was standing sol a solitary figure in the north the, uh, northwest corner of the Duke touchdown zone. He took the ball and downed it for a touchdown, as Kenneth told you, and then Gaspar, the regular tackle for the Trojans, came into the ball game and converted. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Southern California 7 and Duke 3. And Ken, will you Thank you very much, Henry. And thank you again for your invaluable assistance during this ball game, and thanks to you too, Bud, for all the help that you've given us. And so, ladies and gentlemen, as the shadows descend upon this historic Rose Bowl, where for the fifth time the Trojans have uh, upheld the honor and the tradition of the West by winning this annual intersectional ball game, this is Ken Barton saying thank you for listening. We hope that you've enjoyed it half as much as we have, and good afternoon. This has come to you as a presentation of the 20th Century International Radio Newsreel.